happens every day. A woman finds out she's expecting when she least expects it, but an unplanned pregnancy can bring social and economic costs through immediate and long-term impacts, especially for teen parents. And in some areas on Delmarva, where nearly half of all children live at or below the poverty level, those impacts can be even greater. Well, that's where the Shirley Grace Pregnancy Center comes in. Lisa Wilgus is the executive director of the Shirley Grace Pregnancy Center and joins us this afternoon along with Irene Rossigno, a member of the board of directors. Ladies, thank you both for being with thank us you. this thank afternoon. You. Thank you for having us. Um, Lisa, I'm gonna start with you. For those who are not familiar, what mm -hmm. is the Shirley Grace Pregnancy Center? Um, Shirley Grace Pregnancy Center is a medical clinic uh, that has several nurses on staff and they help um, women who find themselves in an unplanned or un, uh, unexpected pregnancy. And that goes from you know, lab grade pregnancy tests to limited ultrasound to detect a viable uterine pregnancy, parenting education, options counseling, providing her the education and the resources and the support that she needs to make an informed decision about what all her options are. Um, and also material assistance and connecting her to other wonderful organizations within the Eastern Shore community that can help add where we can't fit. Right, right. And, and, and Irene, you know, um, you're talking about the Shirley Grace Pregnancy Center, uh, we talk about the future. You're, you're, you're wanting to do so much more. Uh, we are. What we've found is that in many cases the women that we take such good care of and they have healthy babies and they are healthy mommies when they give, when they give birth, um, however we know we're holding them close to our hearts and we know they're still broken. Uh, we're excited about the introduction of ACEs, which is Adverse Childhood Experiences. There's a movement going across the country um, to promoting a what they call a trauma-informed communities across the country. And that simply is a network of um, law enforcement, medical and health and mental health professionals, as well as educators. And if you could just think of it in a way to say, we have a mother uh, who's, who's working with us for a pregnancy, and she might have two other children. Wouldn't it be great for us to just pick up the phone and call that school and be able to inform the school that this child is being impacted by thus and such in their particular relationship and be able to approach those children um, and, and start to intervene at critical points. The biggest factor would be the mothers trust us. Um, they don't feel we're going to come in and take their kids. That's mm -hmm. a fear and that makes them not want to be open. So it has to be really built on a whole premise of trust and that's really what ACES does. Yeah, yeah, that's wonderful. Okay, so uh, you have a big event coming up, a yearly event. It's mm -hmm. a gala and this is how you raise money for the Pregnancy mm -hmm. Center. Tell me about it. Mm -hmm. On April <coughs> 21st at the Roland E. Pyle Convention Center, uh, we're hosting our annual benefit. Uh, one of the uh, beautiful elements of this night is we've invited Nikki Edgar uh, and she was in 2016 on America's Got Talent and her and her teenage daughter and her new husband made it to the top eight and her story when I when I saw it on Facebook one night just scrolling through it and I saw her interview with Simon Cowell and Heidi and the various others on their panel I just remember like jumping out of my seat and saying I must have her yeah. like I must have her at this event and the story is, you know, grew up in this, you know, Christian family, got her first, like, you know, sense or taste of doing music in church. Um, doesn't matter if you're a Christian, if you're not Christian, doesn't matter what your label is. You know, it happens in all of our families. She gets pregnant at 16 years of age, had the big record deal from Nashville. And unfortunately, um, you know, in our religious community, uh, and I, again, this saddened me and hurt me uh, all at the same time. They took her record label off the shelves. Mm. Um, they canceled her record deal. And she went into this extreme depression and just hit rock bottom. Yet she chose life and chose to carry and parent, yet we punished her because of her decision that, that she made. And that, that message has to change. Right, right. Um, And it's not about with any of these girls that come in our center, and it's not even about us as women, it's not so much where we have come or even where we are today. It's seeing the potential in somebody of where they can land and believing that there's hope that even in the midst of choices that aren't ideal or perhaps someone might say is wrong, who are we to say that good can still not come from that? And the fact that she and her 17-year-old daughter are going to come 
And That's going to be a wonderful testimony. It is. It All really right. is. And if you would like to, to, to witness that testimony, you want to go to the Shirley Grace Pregnancy Center Gala. It is Saturday, April 21st from 5 to 10 p.m. at the Roland D. Powell Convention Center. Tickets are still available. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you can uh, get ticket information by going to our website, delmarvalife.com. Lisa, thank Irene, you. thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. We Looks appreciate it. Looks like it's it. going to be a great night. We believe so. All right. <laughs>